So yesterday we created the table TBL employee. Okay. So we inserted the some scripts on this. Now I'm dropping this table and recreating. We'll add a extra columns or we can add a alter commands with the help of alter commands also we can add a new columns okay now what i want i want to insert some data into this table as of now we have a four columns in this table now i'm going to insert some data into this table insert into tvl employee so columns id we have a last name salary and the joining date the values one we'll be inserting some other one columns is a poor number i teach for him at so i'm going to change the employee id in the name employee d3 name employee d4 name shiva employee d4 Eleven. So I have inserted some data into the table. Now click on now. This is a new query. It will open a new window. Okay. So I'll start from table. Now I have here 11 records in this table. So in this session, we will learn to get the top records. Okay. Top command. Like command. And R between okay, not like order by so we learn all the commands now now what i want i want for example i have a 10000 records in this table so 
in that data, I want to get a top 10 records only. First 10 records I required. So by using, if you want those kind of scenario, we have to use the top class. Okay. How to get, how to get top five records. Now select start from TBL employee. So I want the top five. If I execute this query, I will get the first five records. Now see, I'm getting the first record. So if you want the top 50, for example, there are hundreds and thousands of records. If you want to get the top 50 records, we can get the top 50. Now we have 10, 11 records on the right. This time giving the five records. Now sometimes the client will ask, I want to get the top five records at the end of the records. So it now if you observe it giving the first five records, but I don't want first five records. I want the last records. The last five records he asked the client. In that scenario, we have to use the order by class. Now how to get the top five records in the descending order. So select top five star from ABL employee order by ID descending order. Now, if you exceed this query, it will give the last five records. Now, see, it is giving the reverse order, last five records, it will give it. So, order by class is used to get the by order wise ascending or descending. So, this is the order class. Now, sometimes the client will ask them how to get a, I want a salary, order by salary. Okay. Now, how to get a, Get a salary order by. So all these queries are client requirement. So based on client requirement, we have to write our query. Now select start from PBL employee order by salary. If I run this query. Now it is giving the order by salary. If you observe here, it is giving a first 10,000 and then 25 and then 35. Ascending order it is giving. But the client will ask, the, I want the salary okay, in a descending order. That means 80,000 will come first. Okay, in descending order he wants. Now, how to get a salary? In the descending order. Let's start from TBL employee order by salary descending. Now, if you run this query, we will get a salary in a descending order. It is given the first 80,000 and then 70 and then 60. So it will give like this. So based on the client requirement, we have to write a query. Now client will ask the query order by name. Okay, I want the order by names to display the employee data. So how to get the employee data order by name? So for example, we have a first name or last name and the name column. So in that time. For example, now we have only last name column, but in real time we have a first name column, last name column, middle name column. So depends on client requirement. If you want order by last name, we have to use the order by last name. If you want first name, we have to use the first name column. Okay. Copy okay. this statement. Order by we make a header. last name. We have a last name column. Okay. Last name. Let's see. So now it is giving the order by employee data. 
so with the help of a class name problem for example we want to we want to data in a descending order now it is given by default ascending order so we have to use the instead of ascending we have to use the descending order last name other way last name descending now run this repetitive it will give the descending order now see was is comes in the first so based on this order by column it will display the data in a ascending order or a descending order now to get to employee data order by name in a descending order Okay. So this is a query for the order. Now we know how to get a topic of how to get a order by class. Now we have some other commands, means some other clauses. So end operator, R operator, and a bit one. So client will ask that okay, I want to get the employee name equal to also and the salary equal to 40,000. Okay, I want only those kind of uh, those, for example, there are employees, multiple employees in our organization with the same name. So I want the name equal to Vasu and the salary equal to something amount, for example, 40,000. So we have to use the end operator. Now, how to use and operator. Select start from table employee where last name equal to so last name equal to was I want to name a was and the salary equal to 40,000. If you run if you run this query now I'm getting the only one record. Okay, I'm getting the only one record because there are two employees with the name M, salary, but the salary is a different. So one employee having a salary 40,000 and another employee having a salary 45,000 without under I'm running this one. Now see, I'm getting the two records. So one employee having salary 40,000. Sorry, another employee having salary 45,000. So whenever the client will ask the specific, okay, specific requirement, we have to use the and operator. Now in this case, I want to name was and the salary equal to 40,000. That is why I'm getting the one record. If he will ask the only, I want to get the last name. So without and operator, it will get the duplicate record because we have two records with the name equal to was. Now one more. Query for and now what I want I want a name equal to Shiva or salary and date of join equal to specific data. Okay, I want to give the for example this is a data. Copy this data. Just here. So in this scenario, I want to get the only this month six and the data eight. I want this date who joined the organization. So in organization, every year multiple employees are joined. So I want to know the some specific date how many employees are joined. So in that scenario, we have to use the where class instead of a salary, we have to use the joining data. Okay. Now by using the R class, so they will ask the requirement. I want a name equal to Vasu. Okay, and the salary equal to 40,000 or 44,000, but salary is optional. Okay, but here salary is mandated, that is why we are used the under class. Now, if it is optional requirement in that scenario, we have to use the R operator. How to use R operator? So, copy this. Condition now instead of and I am using the R operator. Now execute this query. Now, if you see, I am getting the two records. Previously, I am getting the one record. 
what is the difference between and and or and means it must match the both requirement last time equal to was and salary equal to 40,000 then only it will fetch the record now in this query was the last time equal to was or salary equal to 40,000 if any of condition is true I want to get a those two records so it is optional in this scenario we have to use the or operator okay now we have a one more operator called a between operator how to use a between okay between operator so client will ask me the requirement i want to get the employee salary more than forty thousand and less than seventy thousand so i want those employee information there are hundreds of thousands of employees in our organization so i want to know the employee salary more than forty thousand and less than seventy thousand in that scenario we have to use the between operator now copy this query where salary salary between If you observe here, I'm using the between operator. So I want to know the salary, okay, in between 40,000 and 70,000. So those kind of, I mean, the employee who having 40,000 and who having less than 70,000. So in this scenario, I have to use the between operator. So between operator is used to get the some specific requirement. So for example, this kind of scenario only we have to use a between a operator and then we have a other operators like and like operator not like operator like like operator so what is the like operator like operator is used to search the employee data okay for using like operator user to search data okay so what is the meaning of like operator for example i have a 10000 records in our database so i want to know the employee name starting with yes okay r v r k any letter so i want to know the the employee who having starting letter yes i want to get all the employee information so that is called search operator in that scenario we have to use a like operator okay so select start from tbl employee where last name last name like so i want to starting letter v okay v and at the rate of percentile so what is the meaning of this percentile symbol so if you give the percentile symbol after the character that means it is a starting position okay so i given a v that means i want to get the employee information starting with v okay so i have a column only last name right that is why I given last name column now, if I run this query, now see, I'm getting the three records. The employee name starts with V. Now, I want to get a starting, okay? Like operator, right? How to get a employee 
employ data where name start with the V. So you can give any character I given a V. Okay. Now I want to get a ending with the view. Okay. So this is a starting letter. But I want to know the employee name end with you. Okay. So how to get employee data where name end with the end with you. So copy this query. Paste. So if you give percentile before before a character, that means this operator will work end end of this character. So we have to use the U. If I run this query, now see the I'm getting the four records because this employee name end with the character U. So like this, we have to use the like operator. Now, sometimes we will ask the question, I mean, client will ask the, I want to know the employee having a M, okay? The character, maybe it is start or it is end or it is middle, but the employee name contains M. I want to get the those employee information. So in that scenario, we have to use the both the percentage symbol starting and the ending. So I have to use the if I run this query. Now see I am getting the two records. For example, if I use a V. Now I am getting the five records because this V container in between or starting or ending any any place if it contains the character v it will fetch the all the employee information so how to get employee data okay where name contains name contains with the v so you can give any character. So if there is a V letter in any place, it will give a complete information. Now what I want. So client will ask this one more question. I want to know the employee name start with V and end with V. So in that scenario, so we return this query for ending and above query for starting. But I want a single query starting and the ending only in that scenario use this uh, copy this query okay now i have to use percentile of d percentile of d so what is the meaning of this one now? So if a percentile starting, that means it is the ending. So percentile comes in the end, that means the starting. So this will work both starting letter and ending letter. For example, if I use a starting letter, yes, ending letter, U. Okay. Now if I run this query, I'm not getting starting letter. Now I'm getting the letter end with the view. So if I use a bracket in this bracket, what I want? So I want the name contains the so any character, for example, I'm giving the yes. I'm giving the M. Okay, I'm giving the percentile. So what is the meaning of this query? Okay, so the meaning of this query is in bracket, if you give Okay, many numbers means uh, given two characters. So if you want to give three, four characters also, then the meaning of this one, right? So it will give the starting with the 
yes and m so it will give the four records i have a two records with the name start with the yes and uh, m start with the m so in this scenario we have to use the bracket so in the above i given only one character so that may start or end that should be the one character only but the client will ask the requirement i want to know the employee name start with yes and the m so both both the employee information should be display in a result in that scenario you have to use this bracket copy this error Apply data name start with start with yes and m okay so in that scenario we have to use the this is square bracket now we have a one more operator not like not like so as of now we discussed the like operator so not like means except this except this remaining will record so will display now if i copy this line okay now employee last name not not like Yes, and M. If I run this query, so it will give the the employee who having name start with S and M, except those employees remaining records which will display. In that scenario, it will we have to use a not like. So yesterday we discussed the not in operator. Same here also it will work like this. So not like. How to get the how to get employee data where a name start where name not start with the S and the M. So in this scenario we have to use the not like a operator. Okay. Now we have other commands distinct. distinct operator so what is the meaning of a distinct for example if i run this employee table okay so there are a duplicate names okay shiva repeated it two times was repeated it two times okay madhu repeated it two times but i want a unique name only so i don't want to rest of the columns all i want a unique column values so in that scenario, we have to use a distinct operator. Distinct operator. Select star from TBL employee. Now I want to use a distinct. Distinct. If I run this query, okay. Now I'm getting the complete request because there are some other columns also. So distinct operator cannot work a multiple columns. So in this scenario, I want to use a last name. I want to display only last name. Let's see this query. Now see, I am getting the seven records. Those are our unique names. So to get the unique values, we have to use the distinct operator. Distinct operator used to get the unique values. Okay. So like that, we have to use the distinct keyword. Now we have some functions in the SQL server like a date functions, string functions. 
now string functions in sql so what are the functions so there are some predefined functions given by the sql server so with the help of those functions we can work depends on our requirement so we'll learn the syntax and the uses of those functions so the string functions they have given a reverse reverse replicate substring tap okay lower upper and then space okay and then screen so there are a number of functions in a predefined functions so these functions are used to okay we'll work on the depends on the requirement that we can do now what i want if you observe the last time column all the columns are displaying in the upper characters so client will ask me the requirement i want to display the this employee information in a lower character so in c sharp we can convert it with the help of convert data to upper convert data to lower so here also we have to use the upper and lower those are predefined functions now how to use these functions for example select lower okay in this bracket so i have to give a text question so i'm giving the text so if you observe text i'm giving the capital letter if i run this it will display in a small way. so it will convert the upper characters into lower characters with the help of lower function in a real time how to use so in a real time we'll use the select star from tbl employee so what i want i want to display the last name column in a lower letter so i have to use the last name okay in this last name i have to use the function lower yes last name okay what is the meaning of this as so as means it is the alias name okay you can give any name it will display the that alias name for example if i run this query now it is displaying the last name okay because i give a last name. if i give the last name now if you observe last name it given a capital letter now i change it this one now alias name now see it is giving the alias name now if you observe here it is converted the last name values into small letters because i have used the lower now what i want i want to reverse this character for example shiva it will display the in a reverse order first a after that v after that i and then s i want a reverse order so we have to use the reverse function okay select copy this line the reverse function use it to reverse the string okay now if i use the reverse okay now if i run this query now see the all values are it is a displaying in a reverse order that is a use of a reverse function now what i want i want to get only starting letter to in this only three letters i want from starting to 
three characters. In that scenario, in C sharp, we already learned the substring function. Okay, now same here also we have a substring function to get the specific position. Okay, substring function used to get the position of a string. Position of a string. So, how to use a substring? Copy this select statement. Okay, these all are straightforward queries only. Okay, uh, don't worry about on this. There is no logical way directly straightforward uh, queries only. Okay, if you practice two three times, uh, it is very uh, easy to remember. Okay, all are select queries. We are just uh, using the replacing the function name. Nothing else we are uh, doing. So there is no logic uh, we are uh, writing here. Now what I want? Uh, I want a substring substring if i remove this uh, substring of hello uh, hello Select substring. So expression going to give a Shivanarayana. Okay, and then I want a starting position one and I want a three characters. So like this, we have to give the syntax. Now, if I run this query, okay. Now, see in this ship Narayana is here my string. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want from starting to three characters, I required. So, same in the real time also, we have to use the instead of this is a hard coded value. Now, I'm using the our last name of column here. Copy this last name. Okay. Comma. I want the starting from one to three characters. Now, if I run this query, if I run this query, now say I am getting the from starting to three characters. So, like that, we have to use a substring function. Now we have a one more function called replace. Okay, reverse step the substring replace. Okay, so with the help of a replace function, we can replace the string value. Okay, and the some other new value. place function user to replace the original value with the new value okay now select replace in this replace what i want the expression to be sorted okay. So I want to use the expression into the red. Place it to dollars. this one, I think I have given more.
So in our credit card or debit card, so if you observe at the last four characters, they will give the X, okay, X icon. So for security reasons, they will replace the last four characters with the different characters like the dollar, like the head thread symbol, like that. So for security reasons, they will replace the original values with some other new values. So in that scenario, we have to use the replace function. Now, how to use uh, this uh, replacement or uh, query in a real time? Copy this query. Okay, paste there. Instead of substring, use the replace. Okay, so what I want, uh, I want to replace uh, in this last name. Uh, okay, if there is a character, uh, okay, character container, yes, uh, I want to replace with the uh, attribute uh, symbol. Okay. Now, if I run this query, now see if there is a yes in the last name, it is replaced with the eight the rate symbol. If I use a two, three times, okay, three times I have here, it will replace three times. Now, see it is a replaced yes character in the last name with the eight the rate symbol. Like that, we have to use the real time also with the help of a replace function and then we have a one more function called the stop word. so they will ask the entire equation difference between a stop and a replace so stop function also used to replace the value in a string but uh, the difference is so specific position i want to replace some characters in that scenario okay in that scenario we have to use the Stop function. For example, select stop of expression to be sorted. So I'm copying this lemma. Right, and then Argument data type, they are fair, invalid. The luck stuff. So, expression is a starting position. Okay. Here starting position replacement valid. Now, if you see here, in replace function, okay, for example, if I want to replace a uh, A here, instead of its red symbol, I give in A. If I run this uh, replace, uh, now wherever the character A is present in our string, all the A place, it is replaced with a dollar. Okay, now I'm going to give one more dollar, it will look clear to see. Now see two places it is given the dollar so multiple wherever the character a is there in every place it is replaced with the dollar but uh, 
my scenario is I don't want to replace anywhere. I want to replace some specific position on it. For example, I want to replace a it greater, okay, for starting position of two and up to five characters. I want to replace with some dollar. So rest of the values remains the same. So I don't want to replace a computer like this replace operator. So in that scenario, we have to use the stuff function. Okay. So if I run this query, now if you see here, it is replaced with the starting position of second and up to five characters. So it is replaced with the dollar. So remaining values are the remains the same. Okay. Now that is the difference between the replace and the stuff function. Stuff function used to replace a specific position. Position in a string value. Okay. That is the difference between stuff and the replace. And we have a one more function called the index of index uh, for example select index index and then select So I think we have one more function index STL index function. Care index. Okay. So we have a one more function called care index. So what is the use of this care index? So this care index is used to identify the, for example, I have a string with a symbol. I want to know the position of this a symbol. So in that scenario, we have to use the care index function. Now copy this string value. First, comma. So where you want to start? So I want to start from a one and a what character you want to search. I want to search a iterator character. Okay. Yeah, as a name. If I run this query, execute. Then argument data typing added. So I have to use the iterator symbol and then a Starting position. If I run this query, the index is in tax. Select the index. Expression to search on the starting location. Such expression, expression to be search. Okay. So here, I'm just uh, replacing the syntax. So we have to remember uh, all this is syntax. So by practice only, we can uh, remember. Now, if you see here, in this string, I want to know the this iterate symbol index position. Okay, in that scenario, we have to use the this care care index, okay? Care index predefined function. Care index index used to find the position of the care value. Care value. So in that scenario, we have to use the care index. 
So like this string functions are the user to identify the so different types of operations we have to work on the real time also. Okay. As of now, we have any doubts, please let me know. I will clarify some. Idi, manam two two select statement okay sari execute cheyo cha. Ah cheyo cha. Okay. Ekulo. Okay. I have one more thing I forgot to length. Length. So length is used to to get the length of these characters. For example, I have a twenty or thirty characters. I don't know exactly. But I want to know this is string characters length. Okay, in that scenario, select length, length means L E N. Okay, length of expression. I have to use the this expression. Copy this one in the text as a length. Also, I have a 22 characters to this string. So, whenever you want to get the length of these characters, we have to use the length function. Use the to get the length of the string. Now, we have some other functions called the L trim or trim. L trim. Trim and then a trim. So, what are these functions? So, these functions are used to remove the space in between a string. For example, I have a string select okay. L trim. L means left hand. Okay. I'm giving the expression, I can give the some space and I'm giving the test like this. Okay, now if I say if I run this query, now if you see here, it is not a printed a space, it is a removed the left side space. So to remove the left hand side space, okay, we have to use the yellow trim. <laughs> Can you mute your So now I want to remove the right side, right side of the string. Okay, space. I want to remove that one. So we have to use the R term. R means right hand. Instead of yellow, I am going to use the R term. For example, if I have a space. Okay. Now if I run this query. Now, if you see here, it is a printed some space here. And then a right hand side space, it is a remote. Okay. Now, and if I give the space, so that space, it is not useful. If I run both queries, okay, it is a giving like this. So, to remove the space, okay, if you want to remove left hand side, right hand side, we have to use the remove function. To this so trim function is to remove the both the left side and the right hand side space in our own this query now it is removed the both the left and the right hand side space okay so in that scenario we have to use the early trimmer or trimmer like this and we have a one more function called the space so what is the meaning of I mean I use of this space function for example, I have a selector star from baby hello. Okay, now if you observe here, I want to get a, this last name under salary in a singular output. I want to concatenate. So, in that scenario, what I'm going to use in this last name, okay, last name. I want to concatenate in the, in the salary. Okay. 
So, conversion failure, converting the where care, where do data type of integer. Okay. Now, we have the convert functions. We will discuss in the coming sessions. So, okay. I'm just removing this function. Going to use the select Shiva, then I'm going to remove the thing with the some other value. Now, so the answer then if I run this uh, query. Okay, I'm getting the complete Shiva and the Narayana in a combination. I don't have any space. Now I'm giving the something space like this. Now execute. Now it is giving the some space. But in the real time, we cannot give query like this, like this kind of a space. So that is a bad way to write a query. So instead of giving space like this, we have to use the space method directly. Okay, now what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to go to use a space. So how many characters of space you want? I'm going to give the four. So four characters space, it will give six characters. Now see, it is giving the four characters. I want the 10 characters of space. If you run this one, it will give the 10 characters of space. So this, this is the best way, I mean, best practice to write the query in the SQL. So now we covered the string functions. Okay. So string functions and then a like operator and operator between a not like a order by and the distinct. So these all are used in a real time very frequently. So please practice. This is very simple syntax. There is no logic directly. Syntax only we have to remember. Okay. So tomorrow we will discuss uh, some other date functions. Now today we discussed the string functions. Tomorrow we will discuss the date functions.